Hey everybody, thanks for joining me with the Garden Canvas. You know, you don't have to have a lot of money or a big budget to start a vegetable or a flower garden. As a matter of fact, you can get started with a vegetable or flower garden at the Dollar Tree. That's right, the Dollar Tree. About anything you want to buy at the Dollar Tree is one dollar. And that includes going this time of year around January when it's cold outside and it's rainy outside and nobody's wanting to think about getting outside, you can get a, a flower or vegetable garden started. And I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you what you can pick up this time of year, middle of winter, at Dollar Tree. So let me show you what I picked up this week. Containers. They have all kinds of inexpensive containers at Dollar Tree. This is a, a self-watering container that you can uh, put water in right here. In January, you can actually get started with getting your seeds growing outside, even if it's snowing outside, all right? All of these seeds, all of them, four packs for one dollar. That's that's tough to beat. And let me show you what I've got. Bunch of onions, kale, green leaf lettuce, cabbage seeds, spinach, broccoli, parsley, cilantro, all your herbs, microgreens, chives. Swiss chard, summer squash, uh, that's the same thing, yellow squash, bell pepper, pole beans, bush beans, basil, sweet peas, and then to add beauty and pollination to your garden, you want to make sure you're putting out flowers. Everybody likes color in the garden, so you have marigolds, sunflower, Zinnia, Snapdragon, more Zinnia, Shasta Daisies, Perennial Mix, Cottage Garden Mix, uh, Cosmos, you name it, it, they've got it. Tomatoes even, carrots. I'm going to show you how you can get these seeds started in the middle of winter outside, if you, even if you've got a little patio or a, a full-blown yard. It's totally up to you what space you have and what degree you want to go and get this started. But I'm going to show you how to do that with some very inexpensive things that you probably have laying around the house. Okay, so here's how you can get your seed started outside. First thing you can use is a milk jug. All right, now I have cut this milk jug in half. Just take a pair of scissors or if you have an X-Acto knife or a utility knife around the house, you can just cut it about halfway, and then I leave a little hinge on the back, and I'll show you why you want to do that in a little while. And this is all you have to have. This and maybe a little bit of duct tape or packing tape, whatever you may have laying around. So with the milk jug, you do want to make sure that you cut a hole, a couple of holes in the bottom for drainage, because we're going to put some potting soil. And you can also pick that up at Dollar Tree as well. They have seed starter mix and potting soil but you can put soil in the bottom of this. We're gonna fill it up about halfway and then start our seeds in here and then close this up and put it outside. And this is gonna create a little mini greenhouse to get your seeds warmed up and start germinating right now. And you're gonna get them prepared so that when your last frost date is over, you'll be able to take your seeds and put them in the garden or your pots and they're already, they have a jump start on the warm season. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and cut a couple of drainage holes and I'm just using just a little exacto knife here. You can use a something sharper in the house, an ice pick will do it or something like that. But just cut a couple of small holes in the bottom of the container and you want that for drainage. You don't want your new seedlings to sit in water that's not draining out of the container because it'll cause root rot and just kill your seedlings. So you want to have some drainage in the bottom of the container. So I'm cutting two holes in the bottom. Okay, so now I have my holes. And I'm going to grab some potting soil here. You can actually use a small Tupperware bowl that's clear. It doesn't matter if the lid's clear or not. As long as it's transparent and sunlight can get to the seeds, you'll just have to fill it about halfway. Now just, continue, just keep in mind, this does not have a lot of growing height. So something like this might need to be a little taller. Uh, you could also use just clear takeout container, like we keep coffee in this, but this is a takeout container I, I get from the barbecue restaurant. 
and put the lid on it. Cut a hole in the top, cut a hole in the bottom. And you can also use clear egg cartons. Just make sure you cut drain, small drainage holes or poke little holes in each one of these and you can have little small cells for short plants to grow into. So those are just a couple ideas on some different containers you can use for seed starting without having to go out and buy anything for it. Okay, so we're gonna start out by using some cilantro seeds. You'll wanna read the directions on the back. It says that you wanna plant them, or cover the seed light with about a quarter of inch of soil. So that's what we're gonna do. And as you can see, that's the cilantro seeds there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all these seeds in here and that's gonna give me individual plants so that when these root out, I'll have uh, several plants that I can move around to different pots and different containers or give away. First thing I want to do though is go ahead and wet the soil so that we have a moist medium that we're putting that in. So you can use a measuring cup. And if you do this after the fact, your, uh, your seeds may get disturbed. So what I'm gonna do is just poke a couple of holes, a few holes in here. And I'm gonna put a couple of seeds per hole just to make sure we get germination. Sometimes your seeds will need to be stratified, but part of that stratification process is going to take place outside in the winter garden. So I'm just gonna lightly cover those, barely cover it, just like that. Make sure they have good soil contact. And then I'm gonna close this up. And then I'm gonna take some duct tape, uh, or you can use packing tape. Duct tape will tend to weather a little better than packing tape. Scotch tape's not gonna hold up, so I probably wouldn't bother with scotch tape but at least packing tape or duct tape. And the first thing I'm gonna do is tape this end flush, as flush as possible, and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit off, it's not gonna matter. And then ideally, you wanna go around and tape the sides. If you're in a little bit milder climate, you may be fine without doing that. You don't want to put the lid back on because you want rainwater to fall in here as well to keep the seeds moist. But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write on the side. I probably should have done this already, but so you can use a different piece of tape. I'm just going to use a different piece of tape now. So I'm going to write on the side that this is cilantro. And you could also write it on the container as well. So depending on what kind of seed you're planting, just read the back of the label. It'll give you planting instructions. Most seed packets will tell you how to plant each seed and what it needs and what depth. A lot of your flower seeds can just be laid right on the, on the soil and get uh, a little bit of sun. As long as they have good soil contact and moisture, they'll be fine. And then this is just going to go sit outside right now and then once we are past the date of frost, my risk, my area, I live in zone 8A in eastern North Carolina, uh, but you may live in a colder climate. So check your, your local area to find out what your last date, uh, last average frost date is. And then you'll know about when you'll be able to set your plants out into your containers and get them out in the open. The nice thing about doing it this way is as things start to warm up, if you're at home and you have some time during the day on a nice pretty sunny day, take this and lift the lid and just allow the plants to acclimate a little bit to some air and some natural sunlight uh, outside of the container being enclosed. But this little greenhouse effect is going to help them grow even in the winter months. So give it a try and you're going to see this is going to work.